Well, space walking, uh, which I did in, in my last flight, SDS-111, 2002, was really the first time I actually got to walk out of the spacecraft, and it was extraordinary. It was an uh, um, overcoming uh, experience um, to actually walk out in the void of space and to be able to see the beauty of this planet that you see in front of you. It's a little scary. It's scary. I, I know that people say that they're not scared. I don't think that they're telling the truth. It is scary. Uh, however, the astronaut has to uh, learn to control his emotions and to be able to, to execute the tasks that are in front of you and carry on and be part of this great, great adventure. The most challenging aspects of a space walk um, have to do with the, the entire choreography of, of execution. To be um, able to, to, to administer your time uh, in an efficient way to carry out uh, the procedures as you practice them, to not uh, try to ad-lib or invent things uh, on the fly. You should never do that. To um, be careful, move slowly. You have to make sure everything is tethered. You cannot just put things away and assume that they're going to stay there because they're going to fly away. So there's lots of uh, issues and challenges that, that we have to learn over many sessions of training. The way we train for uh, spacewalk, the most, for the most part, is underwater. It's really nice. It's really um, an exciting in and of itself. It's just to be underwater. I love scuba diving, so I, I, I found that to be very exciting. We have um, very large uh, pools, uh, swimming pools, where we practice. And we have um, divers that help us. Um, be nice to have those divers up when we're up doing the work, but uh, they're not there. <laughs>